Hey, what's up guys? Hey, today I'm going to talk about uh, preparing a cat tourniquet. So you just bought one, uh, how to prepare it, how to get it into a bag, and how to stage it uh, the way it needs to be. All right, guys. So uh, one of the first things, obviously, you don't want to have it in the plastic that it comes in. So make sure it gets taken out of there. Quick note, if you ever have to use any trauma gear like this, it's likely to be the worst day of your life. So make that day a little bit easier by going through some prep here. And if your hands are all bloody, if you're in the worst case scenario, uh, you definitely don't want to be digging through plastic like this. So make sure you, you know, rip it open, get it out of the plastic, all right? Um, get it all set. Now, a couple points. This is the way they come, and it's okay the way it comes, just like this. Maybe don't even touch it. Just leave it just like this. That's the way the good folks at NAR have designed it, so it's good to go just like this. I have a couple preferences. It's the way that I like to do it. Uh, you don't have to agree with it. Okay, this is just the way I like to do it. So here you might learn something, think of some new idea. Uh, that's all this video is intended for, is just for for thought provokeness. All right, so here one thing that I do is I take this little tab here, and all I do is do a little bit of an overhang over this gap here, just a little bit, maybe a quarter inch or so. That's it. What that does, it does not affect the entry of the windlass into the reten retention system here. But what it does for you is allow you to grab that tab a lot easier, all right? It comes right at the edge, like this, right at the edge, which is fine. Still, I mean, you can still get to it, but all I do is just add a quarter inch of overhang just like that, okay? All right, the windlass, make sure it's loose. I usually put it to the side. I'll show you that in a minute. One thing I do here is the red tab, all right? It's fine the way it is. Uh, NAR, they make them pretty hard at the end. Uh, what I do though is just under the red, be very careful not to do too much, but just under the red. All I do is just hit it with a torch just a little bit. Okay, don't light it on fire or anything. Just hit it with a torch just on the very end. All right. And now what that does is it makes the end just a little bit even harder and then also flatter. Okay, just a little bit flatter and smoother. So what that does, it does two things. It allows you to get it into the clip here. If you take this off, you're putting it around someone's leg or your leg, and you have to put it back through. It's a lot easier to get it in, th in there, having been burnt just that little bit at the very, very, very tip. Easy to get through. Also, when you prep this thing and you have it set for one hand use, and say you're going to pull it on your arm, you now have to, that you don't have to fight that tab anymore off. It's right there. It pops up. It doesn't stick anymore. Just the very end will pop right up. So now you can very easily put it around a limb and grab that tab. And it's going to be nice and hard for you too. grab the tab and pull and you're good to go. The last thing I do is I just adjust the way that it comes. It comes about this far in and it's double folded. It comes like this, that far down. And the whole tourniquet is double or uh, folded once like this. This is how it comes. Not bad. What I do is I take it off and I like, I put it right about to the start of the logo, just about a fist width. Okay. Just about a fist width, just to the start of the logo, right at the C. I bend it and press it down. And now you fold it twice. So you have the tourniquet out. Okay. Like this. And you fold it twice. So one fold, Press it down, two folds. Now right there, if you do it right, just like that, okay, actually I didn't do it right, so I gotta get this off. One fold just before the buckle, okay? And then fold it up like so. So now the buckle's folded flat, and now if you look guys, if you get this set up right, the tourniquet is the length of the windlass, okay? The whole thing is the length of the windlass. When it comes, it, the tourniquet is longer than the windlass, but if you do it this way, it's the exact length of the windlass. You can't get it any smaller than that. So that's the way it goes. I usually just tuck this over to the side as well, like so. So now the windlass is set up right there. Now it's a nice tucked package, all set up just like this, just as small as you can get it. All right, that's how I prep a cat tourniquet. Personal preference applies. Um, you know, hopefully if it works for you good, if it doesn't just as good, just make sure what you're doing is evidence-based and have at it guys. All right. Later.